Now we're asked to find out the nature of the stationary point for the radius that we found. By that we need to decide whether it's a minimum or a maximum. Now a minimum is part of the curve when it's down like this and a maximum is when it's like this. Well you can see from the earlier part I said to you that the curve looked like this and you can see directly that the point that we've got is a minimum but really you're not meant to know this okay so let's assume that I hadn't drawn this graph for you we're totally unaware what it looks like and we've got to determine the nature of the stationary point well one way that we can do it is by taking what we call the second differential differentiating in this case ds by dr with respect to r again get in other words working out d2s by dr squared and by doing this this works out what we call the rate of change of the gradient and in a situation where you have a minimum what's happening is the gradient as we move from left to right the gradient is coming downwards then it's flat then it's going upwards now a downwards gradient is negative horizontal it's zero and going up in that direction is positive so in fact the gradient is increasing as we go around here so what we would find is if this comes out as positive when I substitute R in we've got a minimum similarly you've got a maximum when the gradient is decreasing okay well let's just double differentiate okay see what we get so we can take this equation now and differentiate it in the normal way so if we differentiate 2r with respect to r we just get 2 differentiate this term we would get minus 2 times minus 1800 so that's going to be plus 3600 take 1 away from the power and we've got r to the minus 3 rewrite this in a simplified form that's 3600 over r cubed now we want to test the nature of the stationary point when r equals 9.6548 so what we need to do is put this into here and see whether we get a plus value or a negative value now r cubed you might remember was in fact exactly 900 so that would save you a lot of work there so what we need to do is just say that d2s by dr squared equals well by substituting 900 into here we get that it equals 2 plus 3600 all over 900 and 900 goes nicely into 3600 four times so you end up with 2 plus another 4 which is equal to 6 and you can see that this is positive it's greater than 0 so it means that the rate of change of gradient is increasing it's this one a minimum so therefore we can say that s is a minimum okay when r equals 9 point well we could round that up when it was 9.7 centimeters to one decimal place okay so that brings us to the end of this part of the question